Hey everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines. I'm Edition Dutch, and welcome back here in Dutch City, where we're having a look at the intersection from the last episode that was not working correct. So I made some changes. I gave it a upgrade to connect it with this road again here. So making a junction instead of T junction. Because they were too close together. And I'm going to do one final tweak. Here. Let me do it. Come on. Only straight and right. And I made this one a one way road. Don't know why actually. When I look at it right now. <laughs> maybe I had some lovely minds. When I was building in the last episode of after the last episode so yeah traffic is going down people still love to walk here so that's absolutely perfect and the traffic here is just yeah call it good of course it is a bit busy when leaving the space elevator then we got a lot of traffic but all the bypasses it's all working nicely we got our six flags Dutch city at level two. So that one will grow in this episode even further. And yeah, we got 20, almost 2300. So definitely going to upgrade that one later on. But when I'm having a look here as a overview in the city, I think we're reaching the end of our city. Of course we can always continue building with the unique buildings and the monuments but yeah there is also one point always in the city when your targets and your imagination <laughs> is coming through an end and you don't know what to build anymore but today we are going to focus on this area since I built this industrial area, I was always walking, uh, looking away at this point here. It's not the best designed thing, stuff area that I made in the city. So I want to create something nice in it. We got some demand for residential and a little bit for uh, industry or offices. And I noticed that this was having a difficulty with the animal products. So let's have a look. And here in Dutch farmland. Because we are importing a lot. And that's not the way I want to see my industry. So we need to upgrade or expand our industry area here. I was looking at this because I noticed that there are traffic lights here. There's no need for traffic lights, so get rid of the traffic lights. And yeah, got a hillside on this one. So I'm not sure that I want to build on that area. But we do need more of this farmland to reduce our import. And let's take a look here at Dutch Woodland. Oh, that one is doing perfectly. But I also spotted sometimes that they have a difficulty of reaching paper here. A unifactory is empty, so that is perfect. But we are missing animal products at a decent time already. So I'm going to add in a small warehouse, especially for animal products. And then we definitely need to upgrade our industrial area. And I think I'm going to use this area here for another small forestry area. So let's see. We need to extend our fertile land. So just using the tool simply. And let's see what we're going to build here in our area. Oh, I see that we need to extend our area a little bit and while we're busy here let's create a new 
forestry area and a specialization all right we'll give it a name once we get there well let's see we need something for animal products and this one is crops and i think that's what we're gonna need we need to import the crops we need to shut that down so we need to produce more crops for our own and what do we got we got some fruit fields here we got the large crop field and basically that's it so that's not a lot of areas that are capable of producing crops so we're gonna build the fruit field now i think we're gonna go for the large crop field let's add in four of these and let's change that to the greenhouse i think that's a nice adding here at the end of our industrial area they need water all right we connect it with yeah i think this is giving a nice farming view into this area so i'm gonna keep it and let's use the silos for storage i think 500,000 this one has 600,000 so let's add in two of them so both can be used and then we have hopefully enough to reduce the import and that we are making everything on our own and this one is filling up so hopefully we won't get out of that and let's continue this road here for our new area of forestry let's see what we can make we don't need to have a lot of activity here we only need to have some fields and some factory for paper i think that's everything we need but first of all let's give it a main building and we call this how did we call the other one uh, dutch woodland dutch woodland a second perfect and now we can produce Forestry. So let's get the large tree sapling field. Yeah, I know you need water. That is all right. I'm going to give it a sec. Got the sampling fields. And of course, they need some storage facility. small log yard I'm gonna give it a big one let's put that one over here and yeah there's nothing special here for I do this no oh perfect that you're gonna make it a bridge lovely no <laughs> And taking it down. And change the land height a little bit. All right, and of course we need something for paper. This one is producing paper. Let's put in two of these. Providing them the water they need. There you go now we have a small area for the producing do we need wood chip yeah let's give it a go not that big and this one as well 
All right, how many people can we apply for work here? 455. That is nice. Note my attention to get another five star here. Just this is enough. Gonna make at least when it's making money. Need to get money. That's it. And of course, some storage for our. No idea how much they're gonna make. I'm gonna do paper here. So this one is now. I'm gonna. I can remove the road here. Uh, I picked another road. Unfortunately. Let's grab the one with grass and just upgrade the rest for the same road. Alright, it's only for providing the paper in this area. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, we'll see how that one go. We can always go this for a roundabout if it's getting a bit more busy. And if they got too much, they can still export it somewhere. So that is this area. And now back to this one. I know we got some loud noises around here. So let's have a look at our map. Where is it here? Oh yeah, this one is producing a lot of noise. And of course those areas. But this one is pretty nice it's not too bad so my plan is to get some high residential in this area and maybe some uh, offices at the sides just to cover the noise first of all i'm gonna edit this road here because this is looking ridiculous a standard little area for residential and some commercial here at the back and yeah small bus line in between some schools services everything they need and it's time to fill them up this new neighborhood and I think I'm gonna add in some of my specialties with parking spots for some extra 
entertainment value so we can raise up a little bit faster maybe and i'm adding then on this side on the side of the cargo airport but it will affect the surrounding of the other uh, area on the other side so that's perfect it's the same for that one and now i want to have this one build up we have some other one smaller one with entertainment value and 15 is only 20 50 as well let's put in a few of them I'm gonna put in a petrol station and yeah another one here just for fun so once this is done I think I'm gonna add in some walking pads I'm thinking well, I can do it right way but first let's take a look ah again animal products it's useless because just around the corner he got a full one <laughs> completely full and we are still not able to get from this to here so let's see where we are getting our stuff from yeah unbelievable getting it outside of the city you got you got it so close by one truck in use or oh, then in use already it's unbelievable that they still can't manage to get it from this side to over there and i think my options are perfect in traffic manager so that can't be the problem woodland is raising up still got 200 spots available but yeah importing i don't know why you're importing balanced all right no idea why you are importing <laughs> because we have an output of just 16 tons 13 tons goes to paper yeah no idea what's going on how's this one doing oh yeah perfect i think we are filling up our storage capacity instead of this one is doing it so yeah traffic is still fine here nothing to worry about and that is set up as well i put in a small area of shopping and commercial here but we don't we do have a little bit of commercial work around this area but overall i think it's look really nice better than it was and yeah they got a little bit of trouble with the noise pollution but I'm not too worried about that. So in the meantime, our amusement park went up to level 3. So we got to add some more stuff in this lovely area that we built in the last episode. So quickly have a look with our amusement park here. And the last thing we had was the teacups. Put that money in here. Together with the picky train. And now we have the swinging boat, the house of horrors, and the bumper cars. And they are all also pretty small. So I think I'm going to add in something in here. And we're going to do the house of horrors somewhere. I think I'm going to add that one in here. And the bumper cars in here. Now I'm gonna fix it to make it look even better. I'll be right back. All right, so that's built, and I place all the pineapple trees stuff thing around here. So our 
House of Horus is a bit covered in a forest. Just to get some extra dimension here. I think this looks great. And then we got the bumper cars here, just surrounded with some trees. And I do want to get some extra roller coasters into this area. And I got three available, I would think. I had five in total. Yes, we placed two. We placed mm, this one. And the small red one. So we got the big red one, the Raging Bull. We got the Mardi Grass and the Batman Ride. And I'm going to put the Mardi Grass. I'm going to... I want to... Leading some of the walking pads. So let's put this one a little bit back. I'm going to put that one in here. Does it look okay? Not really, but can we do something with the terrain height? Oh, that's quite big. If we can get it a little bit better. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, people are <laughs> walking already into the roller coaster, and we don't even got the road. Now we have. Ah, uh, those are the entertainers. Alright. So we got that one as well. And I think I'm gonna add in a section of walking path in here. And I know I'm like the curvy flow. I don't wanna waste my lovely rocks. So we're going to build something in between here. We got... Uh, let's scroll all the way back. We got this one. And I'm going to place that one in here. And we got Batman as last. Oh, we don't need to get rid of some walking pads. So we're going to place that one in. This one needs road access. So, I'm giving that. So, with this one, we'll get it to the final. We got more than enough entertainment, so it's only a matter of people getting here. And we'll get there, we'll get there. So, slowly thinking of starting a next city. So, I can use some recommendations for maps eventually. Maybe we got one, another really mountain hillish map maybe a flat map or a bit flatter with some kind of lake or something and if you have any suggestions for some new maps some new city names or even suggestions just for this city so we can spend a few more episodes let me know in the comments I'm very pleased with the result, not the end result, but the almost end result of our city here. And I'm looking forward already to start a new city. To so start from scratch, to build it again with, oh, with help of you. And yeah, we had some fires, so... The city is already burning down. Oh, we got huge lack of police. All right. Yes. Putting on the police. All right. Perfect. Frame right. Frame. The frame rate. Yeah, it's going to drop. So, thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time in the next episode. Here in Dutch City. Bye bye.